Hello and welcome to the Schooner Simulation. I'm your host, Michael Whitman, and this week's episode is brought to you by no one. We couldn't book anyone this week. For those that are new, we are watching the Goodyear Cotton Bowl matchup, the Florida Gators against mine, your, our Oklahoma Sooners, seeing how it plays out, setting both teams to Heisman computer difficulty and analyzing the gameplay footage. The use of the updated rosters, courtesy of the Operation Sports Forum, ensures we have the correct players with the correct stats, and the college football revamped modification is used so we can simulate how unlucky the Rough Riders are in a COVID-abandoned stadium. Check out links to both in the description below. For the first matchup, I've put the Gators in their dreamsicle orange and white uniforms and the Sooners in their traditional crimson to start. Then our second matchup has Oklahoma in their Rough Rider reds and Florida in their whiteout jerseys. AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas is an indoor stadium, so the weather doesn't matter on this one. The difficulty is set to Heisman, and the quarter length is a standard five minutes. In the first half, Spencer Rattler comes out looking like the quarterback we need him to, leading drive after drive into the end zone and finding massive opportunities downfield that launch the Sooners into the lead, including a beautiful 80-yard bomb to Charleston Rambo. Despite Kyle Trask's best efforts, our defense is able to get a handful of sacks, important stops, and even an interception. This gives our offense more opportunities to score and prevents the Gators from gaining momentum. Trask is able to find Trayvon Grimes on a massive 90-yard throw for their only touchdown of the half. Like with previous games though, come the second half, the Sooners run out of gas and the war of attrition begins. The Gators get into a rhythm and start wearing away at the defense, and our offense is never able to find the end zone again. Not even a field goal. A turnover in the red zone at the end of the third takes away the last opportunity the Sooners have to score, while Florida is able to capitalize, drive it past our weakened defense, and punch it in for a touchdown. Florida gets the ball back once more, but Oklahoma is able to make a crucial stop and burn enough clock to end the game and win. All drives considered, this is a typical game time performance for Oklahoma during the COVID era. So long as the offense burns brightly enough in the first half, the defense will hold up just enough to make sure the team squeaks by when they inevitably burn up and get figured out, especially without an established run game. The numbers speak for themselves, especially Rattler's 191 passer rating and minus five yards rushing. In the second simulation, a lot of the same things happened. The only problem being our offense never burned brightly in the first half. Not much more to say. If our offense can't find it in them to score and the war of attrition starts early, Florida is going to gain the momentum they need to find the end zone and won't relinquish that lead. I still blame the Rough Riders as I'm sure many of y'all do, but putting that aside, Rattler is going to have to establish himself or Riley is going to need to figure out how to give Ramondre Stevenson room to truck to keep the team burning hot in the first half. Otherwise, we might just be facing our fourth bowl game lost in a row. And I really don't need my siblings to hold that over my head. That's it for this week's episode. If you can't get enough of the Schooner blog, make sure to tune into the Schooner pod to hear Bobby, Ty, and Jameson talk about this week's game, available wherever you listen to your normal podcasts.